So just as, as your new tenure in the co as, as a coach of Leon, right? Just when you got hired, there was this quote that said, this is a return to Leon's DNA, right? Like this is the fundamental essence of the club. And so you've been a player, you've been an academy director now as a manager. What do you think the essence of Leon is? Um, like you said, I think uh, for me, the most important is uh, I know the club uh, because I was a player for many years. And I also know the club uh, because I was uh, the director of the female academy. And uh, I know perfectly the history of, of the club and uh, uh, what all the fans are expecting from the team, the way we want to play and the way the fans want the team to play. And uh, the goals are very clear. We need to win. We have very high expectations on winning uh, all the titles we are fighting for. And um, the DNA of the club is uh, to have a, a game with a lot of possession uh, with the ball. Uh, we like to attack, to have a philosophy, a philosophy of attacking uh, with players who are very technique and able to uh, keep the ball and to uh, go forward on the field with the ball with a, a very uh, quality technical individually and collectively. And uh, we like when the players are able to combine and uh, to uh, be able to uh, take the ball and bring the ball to the goal uh, to score. Uh, and uh, this is the philosophy when we have the ball and also when we don't have the ball, we need to fight on the field very hard and uh, we need uh, to uh, defensively uh, to protect the goal very hard because I was a defender and I don't like when we take goals against us. <laughs> I, that is, you know, it's a very underrated, the goals get all the glory, but defense is very underrated as a skill. Yeah. 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 And I mean, uh, Wendy, you know, Wendy Renard, obviously one of the all time best players, best defenders in the world. Like what, what does she bring to the team in terms of setting that standard of defensive excellence? Um, I think for her, it's very important to send a big message saying, uh, if you want to be the best team in the world, you have to be compact and defensively, you have, very, you have to be very strong. Um, at the high level, uh, when you want to win the goals, of course, you need to score. Uh, but you also uh, need to be very strong defensively. And uh, the defense of the team is uh, the heart of the team. Uh, you need to be very strong. And when you have the players on midfield and the forwards who are able to possess the ball, to be very uh, good uh, individually with the ball and technically very clear, uh, that's uh, better. Uh, to have more chances to, to win the game when you don't take chances against you and when you don't take goals against you. Right. One of the other things that you said when you first got hired was the club needs to be ambitious. And, and how do you think being ambitious is going to help? You know, obviously Champions League didn't quite go this team's way this season. It was a very tough result against PSG as well. Like what what are you thinking about in terms of when you think ambition and finding the next level of this team. What are you thinking of? Uh, when I talk about ambitions, it's uh, the first thing is uh, we need to work uh, uh, and keep in mind uh, the fact uh, that uh, today all the clubs in France and all the clubs in Europe and in the world are working very hard uh, to catch up with, uh, with us uh, and uh, we need to have uh, this time in, ad in advance and to keep this time in advance uh, rather than the other clubs. Uh, and the ambitions is uh, to, on the scouting part, uh, to think about the players who are going to suit our team on my philosophy, on my uh, 
uh, the way I want the team to play. And uh, this is maybe the most uh, important part, uh, the players who are going to play for Lyon and be able to be also ambitious. Uh, ambitious, sorry. Uh, and uh, with the players, the team and the club, we need to be everyone on the same page and uh, to have the same ideas to reach the goals. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to I want to take you back a little bit uh, <laughs> away from Lyon. You played in the U.S. with the Washington Freedom for a couple of years. I just was wondering if you had any fun memories of your time in women's professional soccer here in the states. Yeah, of course. Uh, I keep uh, good memories about uh, my stay in Washington. I played for two years uh, in uh, the Washington Freedoms. Uh, with Jim Gabara, he mm -hmm. was uh, the coach, uh, and I had a lot of fun. It was a very great experience for me as a soccer player, but also as a human person. Uh, the experience was very great, and uh, since uh, that period, I'm someone, someone else because I grew up, uh, and uh, yeah, the, the mentality of the American soccer and uh, the culture of the soccer in U.S., uh, made me better as a player and also as a, a person. And uh, yeah, I have very good memories of, with the players I played with. Uh, I had the chance to play with uh, Habib Van Bach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also uh, was uh, during one year living with her in the same house. And uh, yeah, it was very great. She's really a good person and she's also a great player. And uh, yeah, I had the chance to play the, along her and to learn a lot. Uh, I had also the opportunity to be in a, a good team who was very careful with me and uh, all the club gave me uh, the opportunity to be a good footballer player. And uh, yeah, I still have uh, some people in touch and uh, that's great for me to live this experience yeah. in Washington. Yeah, as someone who also used to live in, in the Washington, D.C. area, what, what, did you get to do some of the sightseeing? Like, obviously, D.C. is kind of just covered in monuments and, you know, Lincoln Monument and, and the White House and all that. Like, was there any sightseeing that you were able to do in, in the two years over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was in U.S., um, yeah, I had sightseeing uh, many towns. Uh, but in Washington, yeah, I went to the parks, to the museums. And one thing was good because uh, all the museums in uh, Washington were free. And yep. uh, you, so that's a good point. Yep. So I had the opportunity to visit a lot of them. And uh, yeah, I also went close to the White House. And uh, yeah, it was a very good experience for me. Amazing. All right. Well, you're coming back to the States this summer for the Women's International Cup. And I just wanted to ask you, do you think that there's something that this tournament is going to, to teach you about the team ahead of next season, especially with all of these expectations now and the, the ambitions all kind of like coming right <laughs> together? Yeah, for me, I'm very exciting to come again to the US and to play this tournament because uh, all the the teams who are going to participate are very good teams. And uh, when you play at the high level, that's the kind of games you want to play and you want to coach as a coach. Uh, so yeah, it will be part of our preseason and uh, we will build on uh, that uh, preseason with uh, some games before, but also on the big games we are going to play in US. So I'm excited and uh, yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, I know. Do you have any sense of, of what to expect out of Portland in terms of the stadium? You know, fans are, are probably going to be in the building. I've, I've been in a sold out Providence Park. I don't know if we'll be able with the pandemic to have that full number, but 25,000 people have been in that building. It gets very loud. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I, I was watching some games from Portland and I know the fans are very, very uh, committed and uh, they make a lot of loud uh, sounds on the stadium, so that's good. And, uh, you know, with the year we have been uh, living we, with the COVID, without fans on the stadiums, 
that's very sad. So I'm very excited to go to Portland and to have the fans very loud on the stadium. And uh, I also talked with uh, Amandine Henry, who mm -hmm. played for Portland, and uh, she told me about the fans. So uh, yeah, I will be very happy to be in the, this atmosphere, great atmosphere, and I can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm sure the Portland fans are just absolutely cannot wait to see Amandine Henry again. They absolutely <laughs> loved her in her time in Portland. So that is definitely yeah. one of the things I am really looking forward to is that reunion because they love her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I very much appreciate it. And we will see you in August. Yeah, it was a pleasure for me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.